Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage in Logan, Utah. And I'm about ready to load the Super B to take down to Dave at Rust Bucket Restos to finally get some metal work done so that it has a real trunk. Uh, Cause you know, I kind of scabbed it together in the last video. Um, now it's gonna be real and solid. He's also gonna do a couple other things. And I think he's gonna make a short video on that, but we'll see once it gets back lots of stuff going on on the front suspension um so we'll get all of that not sure if i'm going to break into the rear suspension just yet but i have a whole bunch of cool calvert racing stuff for that the car should hook awesome it should handle awesome i love this car i know i say that all the time and then we're going to work on the darts uh the white dart has some electrical issues and i hurt the red dart down at muscle cars at the strip so i'm not sure if i'm going to rebuild the engine that's in it or something else that's a story for another day. Right now we're focusing on the B. All loaded and ready to head to Dave. I really love this car. I know I say it way too much, but gosh dang. Um, it's got that cool uh, cold case radiator and everything. I need to turn the thermostat up a little bit because the fan comes on when it's only like 100 degrees. But it keeps this thing so cool. It's awesome. I did drive it a little bit down in Vegas till I broke the power steering pump or realized that was what the problem was and uh it was so much fun such a cool looking car i'm going to be extremely excited to get it back from dave and have a nice trunk floor that uh, i can actually put stuff in and it doesn't rattle all over and when i get down to dave's i will uh get some video of what the trunk floor currently looks like just to remind you all he's not going to do anything on the outside right now but in the future, someday, we'll probably do something with the outside. He is going to fix a hole in the floor pan and a few other little things. Also, eventually, he's going to get new inner fenders and core support. But right now, it's so close to summer. I don't want it to be tied up too long. I just want to go enjoy this car. Because after all, that is the best thing about these things, is going and driving them and enjoying them. What's the point of having them just sit there in the garage under a cover and all of that stuff? So summer's here, go drive those suckers. So anyway, I'm gonna get on the road and uh, head to Dave's. The bee is down here at Rust Bucket Restos and I'm gonna leave it in the hands of Dave, T-Bone and Dino and they're gonna take care of it. Uh, but I'll hurry and show you the trunk floor real quick. This is why it needs to be replaced is, uh, well, it was cut out and it just gone. And so uh, you may recognize that from the duct tape dart hood. I just needed something to cover the hole. So I installed that in 20 minutes with OEM sheet metal. Can't beat that. Um, anyway, so we're gonna get it in right there next to the charger and the ratty saddy. And uh, he's going to get to work on it. And if you don't know, this is Dave from Rust Bucket Restos. And like I said, be sure to go give him a follow, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Does amazing metal work. I mean, why else would I send this to him if he didn't? So. Well, it's going to have a new trunk pan and maybe a little bit less rubber on the tires, but we'll get her done. You know what? Burn all the rubber off. Those are old, used, uh, and it's undercoating for the wheel wells. Beautiful. So. So yeah, and it's got almost a full tank of fuel. So you might need to burn that out before you uh, start work. So anyway, as soon as I get it back, there'll be more video, but I believe that uh, Dave's gonna be doing some video so you can follow along, check out the floor repair and the rust repair and whatever else he does. I told him just to surprise me and do what he feels needs to be done. So until I get it back,
Well, I know for you guys it's been about 10 seconds since you've seen it, but for me, it's been over a week and a half. And wow, one of the things I first instantly noticed is he filled in these holes, which were in totally the wrong spot and driving me crazy. And uh, love this car. Dave did an amazing job fixing that. Now let's look at everything else. He said there was a surprise, so I'll have to see if I can find it. I can get the trunk open first. Jeez. That is amazing work. And as you guys remember, I just had a piece of sheet metal in there and that's far from just a piece of sheet metal. Uh, looks is, a little different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks so much different. So what I really try to do is that I can't stand lap welding anything, right? So it's all butt welded, it's all body worked, it's blended. So it's gonna fool pretty much everybody into thinking it is the original trunk pan that's in the car. So it's sectioned in to the trunk drops on each side, to the back, and then also to the front, actually just below this body line right there. And the whole thing has been, yeah, it, it's, it's beautiful. It turned out really good amazing amazing work and then we're going to do the drops when we fix the quarter later yep. gosh surprise yet uh, <laughs> well i can see that this floor it's um better there's not a hole there yep. and the other floor is definitely holeless dropped it off and also in vegas you had your heel sticking through the bottom of the car <laughs> so i figured while it's here might as well fix that floor pan for you too oh man that looks awesome and now it's going to be nice and solid right there so i uh i can do proper burnouts <laughs> love this car i mean and how can you not love the pistol grip but that's not what we're here talking about today yeah dave amazing work yep. so and if you guys haven't be sure to go check out rust bucket restos give him a like and subscribe he does amazing metal work you can see his charger coming up you can see the ratty saddy among other vehicles the cuda and i'm sure there will be some other stuff coming in the future <laughs> so now i think we gotta go get this home so I can start tearing into it. we're gonna do? Um, racing. 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 What kind of car are we in? Jeremy's. What did I tell you it was? Um, no. A Dora. Super B. We're in the Super B. Dodge. 1970 Dodge Super B. Why is it so fast? What's the power plant? 383 4 speed. 4 tens. Ready? Hands up. Take a 
break. Yeah. We might be getting in trouble. It's all video editing is all it is. Can you, can you, can can you guys you say CGI? Oh yeah. CGI. He wants, he wants to hear it.